Hey y'all, good morning. This is Tammy with Happy Arts Creations and I wanted to show you the beautiful results of the uh, revised ring Dutch pour that I did uh, two days ago. It took about two days to dry but it dried most beautifully. So I am just so happy with it and hubby's taking my pictures right now and I'm so thankful. Look at the sides. Didn't they come out beautiful? I'm just so excited how this turned out. And uh, being so, I want to do this again. And in just a minute, I'll show you the difference that I'm going to do with it. Now, I'm not finished here because, you know, I still had uh, paint left over. And I surely do not want to waste anything that I have. So let me show you the things that I did. I've got a set, one, two, three, four, of coasters. They're absolutely beautiful. And this is using the paint that was left over. I had an extra one, so that'll be just a little ditty on the side. I did another tile, but it's a large one. Remember how important I told you to make sure that you keep your backs ready to go. This one here is a uh, swipe pour, and I'll show you that one day later. I'm not finished yet because I've done all of this. I took some glass cabochons, and as you can see, I've already been mixing paints with my gloves. But anyhow, and I dipped it in, and I'll show you how to do that today. But this is just with the leftovers that were down below the painting. Aren't they beautiful? They still need a little bit of cleaning up, but they're still great. And I can make these into jewelry or make uh, magnets or whatever. And last but not least, there was the last little mess that was all over, and you couldn't do much with it. And I'm going to be doing... Um, a frame around a couple 8 by 10s and uh, anyhow this is just the initial and this is just scrap wood that I had and it's just the initial because you know one thing with uh, wood when it gets wet it kind of breathes and it opens up and it gets rough so what I want to do with this is I'm going to sand it down and then paint it the color again you always need to sand and paint sand and paint sand and paint until finally you get where you need to be and everything is nice and smooth but in the meantime, I did not waste a thing. So if you're ready to get on with the next painting, with a little change in plans a little bit, uh, let's go. Be there in a minute. Hey, y'all, I'm back. And um, thanks to hubby, I really appreciate a big hug, sweetie. Anyhow, um, we're going to do what I did two days ago. But we're going to do a different kind of spin on it, okay? Before we get started, I want to show you two other tools. These are great tools. Oh, here we go. These are tweezers. Oh, I'm not getting this. There we go. Tweezers and a paint can opener. And sometimes what makes it hard is if anybody deals with opening jars or they have you have trouble with uh, arthritis or anything like that in your hands, you can take this and just kind of pop the lid like this, okay? And it makes it very, very easy usually to open your, your lid. So that's a little trick I wanted to show you today. Um, I have the same things that I had before. Always keep these handy, your tweezers handy, okay? All right, I've got my same old handy dandy um, smoother. got this here ready to go to get my edges and stuff that I need here and we've got our circular thing we're going to place in the middle okay so we've got those set aside I got my paint now what I'm going to do differently today and I might have given you a hint already is that instead of the white base I'm going to use the black base okay today I'm going to use the uh, fine touch acrylic black paint um, it's called Mars Black. You can find this at Hobby Lobby. I like this. This is a deep, rich paint, and it's, it's a nice texture, and the pigment is really nice for a black paint. Um, so anyhow, that's the difference what I'm going to do. And I've got my same colors as I had before, my indigo, my light turquoise, my greenish blue, and this time I'm going to add some white, just because I think there might be another highlight that might be needed with the black. But I did have white in the last painting, so we're going to call this good. Alrighty, so this, remember the, uh, the pouring, how it needed to be? Yeah. It needs to be super thin when you have a Dutch pour. If it's not, your paint will just go glug, glug, glug when you're trying to blow it around. It's not going to move. 
Okay, so I made sure consistency is the same. All right, all of that should just go down. You lift it up and go down straight in the cup. Here's this one. They're all the same. Okay, and the paint that you flood on your canvas needs to be a little bit. Here was that troublemaker yesterday. Boy, I couldn't get it right, but I got it right today. All right, then I got my black, and is it rich and wonderful? Now, because I made this black up today, I might have a few extra bubbles, but we'll use that little torch. And this might even still need to be thinned out a little bit. Sometimes it looks like it's going in right in, but when you feel it, there's a feeling. Um, kind of like if you're stirring and you're trying to make a pudding and it's starting to get thicker. That's kind of this feeling right now, and it's not the one I want. So let me get my... Um, my 90% water, 10% Floetrol, and I'm just going to pour it in here. Pretty good much right there. You see it has a little bit of that white. And I'm going to get that until I feel now. This is a feeling thing sometimes. All right, let me take a peek at that. Is it quite nice? Still, it's good for a lot of things, but not quite. So what I'm going to do, and again, I want to get this just right because consistency is important, okay? Let me take a closer look. That looks good, that feels good. And I'm also going to use my 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Alrighty, I'm totally, totally excited. How about you? All right, let me move these things. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna flood my canvas. Um, and then we'll get started. Now I want to make sure this is, I've got a good coating on it, okay? I saved some for the ring that we put around the ring. That should be, I may have to thin that out just a little bit for that ring. And then I'm going to do my handy dandy fondant smoother. And look how beautiful that is. And you know, if you don't get all of your sides, um, done you can always go back but black is one of those that you probably need to get pretty at least a first coat on and I'm gonna go around here like that you see what I'm doing that's a good job right there I'm gonna do that on all the sides today I do not have my um, lazy Susan in all honesty I forgot it so we'll just go on with that I can move things around and do what I need to do no problem again I can go back afterwards smooth this over again it doesn't have to be perfect because at this point we are going to put more paint on it there we go now one thing with black if you want your thing to be clean later go ahead and put it in some water now and I've got a bucket right here to my right and also I'm going to clean my hands off because by golly black is messy That's the worst part of this part. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All done. So, here we go with my ring. As you can see, it was used yesterday. I'll put that side down, or two days ago, and we're going to start. I did forget to do the... Let's blow some of these bubbles out real quick. There we go. And there went my phone. All right. Get the ones in the middle. Okay, here we go. So we talked about doing dark, light, dark. And I'm going to do that again, I believe. I've got these great spoons right here. They're actually baby spoons, and you can find them in a pack of 12 at the Dollar Tree. So, hey, I'm all for Dollar Tree stuff. All right, here we go. My first one, I'm telling you, I have a hard time. I guess it's depth perception. My husband laughs at me, but oh well. Here we go. This one should be better. Then we've got our beautiful 
Amsterdam greenish blue here. Man, this is a gorgeous color. If I had my wish, I'd always use golden paints. All right, and this is my white. And it's what I used yesterday, the Artist Loft. And just add a little bit of that, not too much, but oh my gosh, these colors up against the black is gorgeous. Now, you know, I told you yesterday that I was, or a couple days ago, I was afraid that my gold might get lost, and it didn't. It had just the right amount. So we're going to do that again, and hopefully it doesn't get lost in the black, because black has a way of doing things you don't want it to do. All right, I'm going to move stuff out of the way. Here we go. Oh, I did forget to pour around the outside with my black. There we go. The consistency was still good. Of course, I'm going to wipe my hands off again. All right, here we go. We're going to start. I'm going to move this. Here we go. Slow and steady. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And we're just going to go around. Look at the difference here. This one's a little bit harder to move around on. Sure wish I had my Lazy Susan, but oh well. You see the differences in this already? Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Let me blow somewhere up in here, just a little bit to the corner, a little bit more. Kind of went a little bit heavy. That's fixable, just so you know. Alright, I'm going to leave that alone because I don't trust myself at times. Okay, as you can see, we've got this right here. And I'm going to go around and blow a little bit in the middle. That turned out so pretty yesterday. It does look different. It has a different appearance, but oh my gosh. Okay, look at that. All right, so I'm going to take a stick here, which I didn't get out. I usually do. There's one. We'll just use this. And again, I'm going to go in the middle, bringing it in. Now, again, this is your painting. And you do what you like to do with it. Before I do much more, I'm going to... Oh, my gosh, look at that, y'all. What a difference, though. Same colors, same technique, other than the Lazy Susan, which really didn't make a difference in the painting outcome. Oh, my gosh. Can y'all see that? I'm going to blow right in here, just a little only, and I might even add. And you can do this. Trust me, there's plenty of paint here. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. There's something's not quite. That's where I blew it a little bit too hard. A little touch. See how I'm doing it? I'm being very careful. But it's not done. It's still done, right? It's kind of how I see it. And of course, we'll do a little drop of gold. And I'll put that kind of in the front side here. Now see, it already has some paint here. But I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit there. All right. I'm going to bring this closer to me so that I can blow it. I do have my hair up. Here we go. Right there. Oh, 
took away the colors, didn't it? There we go. But you know what? I can take this still. I'm not done until I'm done. I want some of this blue. Dang, nabbit. I want some of that. Let's see. I'm going to play till I get it. Hmm. I like everything about that spot. So I'm going to have to work on that again. All right, one more time. We're going to put blue. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not going to do white this time. A little bit of this. And a little bit of gold. And a hair bit of black. Okay, there we go. I might even lift it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. That is much better. Where are my little ditties? Okay. Now that looks better. I'm liking that better. What do you think? Better? I think it's better. All right, where's my stick? We're almost done. I'm going to torch it in just a minute. Wow, there's so much glare. I have to keep moving around. Glare from the black and the light above me. But, oh my gosh, look at that. That is amazing of what you get. Uh, what you get. A little canvas showing here. Just with a change of color. Did not want that canvas showing. Okay. All right. So now we're going to torch. I think I'm done other than torching. Now, torching does heat up the paints. Um, it pops any bubbles. It brings up these little cells, as you can see, right up in here. See, those are what we call our cells. Um, and it's popping the bubbles, which is great. I'm glad I didn't put too much white, though. I kind of like it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? All right. And when this dries, it'll probably take a good couple days. And again, I'll show you. Okay. I'm not going to torture too much. What do you think? Isn't it gorgeous? Let's see if I can get it up a little bit closer for you. Some on the sides, it's poured over like that. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. The more I look at it, the more I like it. And I might piddle around with it just a little bit, maybe to bring out some of that right in here. But by golly, and you know what? It's your art. What makes you happy? Well, this makes me happy, and it makes me happy that you have been with me today. I want to say thank you, and I wish you the best day. I wish you the best Easter. I pray that everyone will be blessed tomorrow. I hope everyone is well, and I thank you for being with me, Tammy, at Happy Art Creations. Toodaloo. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Or maybe the next day. <laughs>